Well guys, welcome to an episode of Total Fishman 6502 um, Quest for the 30, episode 5 I think this is now um, We're in the left outlet And there's three days ahead of us uh, today, tomorrow and the day after I'm here for two nights As you can see the weather's pucker Apart from the rain um, But um, it's lovely and overcast as you've seen I'll just flip around and show you quickly as you can see so a low pressure system's like moved in and moved that hot air out of the way, hot weather out of the way. Get my tongue in um, and hopefully that's, uh, we've got all the spawning out of the way because last time I were here, if you can recall, caught that 26.6 from over there. Which is the right bars. Absolutely a swim. I don't know why we haven't fished there today, but I don't think my granddad lights left bars, which I wouldn't really. It's a shocking swim. So obviously we want to fish together. So uh, we've come here. Um, when we first got here, someone were in this swim, and the uh, royal box was free, uh, and I was like, "Oh, royal box is free," and then. Um, Basically, we, we got here and there was a guy just, just packing away and uh, he basically told us his, that there were fish going absolutely crazy in front of him last night. He, he started in the royal box and uh, he cast right to his right, which is like in front of this swim, which is left outlet just along from right bars. Um, he said that they were going crazy right out in front here and, not, and in front of my granddad's swim, which is right outlet, I think. And uh, they're still going mental now. Like I haven't seen that many of them, but like out in front of me. But he said that they were going absolutely crazy out in front of him in this swim this morning. Um, he's moved on to the other lake because apparently they're doing the same on that lake. That lake is absolutely chocker. So um, obviously, I think they they might be having it on that lake. Um, but obviously, that's left this lake pretty empty. Uh, as I say, royal box is empty. Last time I looked. Right bar is empty, left bar is empty, little point's empty, right point is occupied, or she was obviously occupied, um, that's always occupied. Um, and I think there's someone in life boy. Um, but that's about it on this lake, apart from me and my granddad. I don't know if there's anyone around daffodils and willow side, but yeah. But anyway, like I was saying, about apart from the carps shop showing in front of me, I've seen them showing in front of my granddad. Uh, he said he's he's pretty confident, and it's the first time he's seen fish in front of him. Uh, he ain't had a thing from this lake yet. Um, but anyway, I better run you through what I'm doing. Um, start off with the rods, and yes, I'm sat in my bivy, chilled out on my uh, new chair. I'll just show you my Todd first. You can see my phone bed. That, that that's an old bed chair. I know. Just 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 leave that. It's comfy. Uh, but there's my new chair. If you've heard of it, absolutely ace bit of kit. As you can see, it fits in a brolly system. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, I've had a lay down there, and I can easily get out. Look, runways free. Oh, and as snug as a bug in a rug, as long as you're young like me. Right, anyway. Basically, I haven't spotted or anything. I haven't put any bait out yet. Normally due to the fact because of the bloody seagulls, you put one bit boiler out with throwing stick and boom, they're about 40. So I've left that like I did last previously in the last episode over there. And that's how I caught the other fish, but that's not why I'm doing it. Um... Because I don't like fishing singles, but um, anyway, left hand rod is on a hinge stiff rig, touching about a hundred yards, I'd say. Because as you've seen, I've, I've showed you my, my spools, <laughs> and you can see backing on them. But yeah, like he said, that it's, it's clear at about hundred yard. He said so. Um, yeah, I got my marker rod as you've seen, just with a lead on, and without there's a bar like from that tree or out to about to there and I've got three rods in between then um, if you cast to that tree you'd think that the bar would be there 
maybe. Be a good marker in between them. But that marker there, cast the marker towards the same distance, solid weed. So bait runners are not locked up, they can go, but they're going to have to pull hard. Um, I'm not doing a last time's performance where my bloody cap lamp fell off and I, I was debating whether to go or not. And I didn't go, and I should have just ran, I don't know what I was doing. But you know you know how it is in the middle of the night, about 3 in the morning, and you get a run and you don't know what you're doing. Um, we've all been there, and I can learn from my mistakes, but last time I got three runs doing this, the same thing as I am doing now, basically. I'm not going to spod, because they're already out in front of us, and here we've been told if you spod, when they're showing in front of you, oh, that won't. Like I was saying, showing in front of you like that, one's just shown straight out in front of me just to... Ooh, that's near right hand in, in stiff rig, that. Ooh, that's looking nice. Same distance as well, about. Ooh, that's got me excited. <laughs> anyway, oh, I forgot what I was saying now. Crap. Um, I'm just going to start again. Left hand rod in stiff rig, that's on a white krill. Sticky baits. Um, as I said, these are all fishing on that bar over there. Um, Middle rod is on a withy pool rig. Um, I tried that at my last lake, my private lake, and it, and I think it, I, I just went too complex for that lake. I, I thought it was going to be harder than it was, and it didn't prevail. But uh, here, um, I think that might be a winner. I don't know. Um, I know the chod rig isn't because we've been fishing that for ages and we haven't even had a touch on that. But we've seen people fishing the chod rig, so I don't know about that. Um, yeah, middle rod on a withy pole rig. That's on a. That's just on a pop up as well, obviously. Car just topped there. That's what twenty yard out. There's a big bank of weed here, and they're all getting in that. I think there might be food in there. I don't know. But I think they've stopped spawning now and they're on the mooch for food. Hopefully. Um, yeah, right hand rod, another hinge stiff rig. Um, the only differences between the two hinge stiff rigs is one with well, the chod section's short and the other one's pretty long. Because um, there's all that plot. Whoa! That nearly got me, didn't it? Woo! Woo -hoo. Anyway, uh, like I was saying, there's all that palaver about the the, the big carp can't get the short chod rigs because the gut's touching floor. You'd think they'd just tilt, wouldn't you? Um, so I don't know. Um, I caught that one last week on a pretty short one, so I'm not really, really bothered about the the length of the chod. I like them shorter than longer. I prefer it. I don't know why, but there you go. Another carp shown out there towards a little point. Um... Well, yeah, let me just try and zoom in on this bank of weed. I might need to get my tripod. And as you can see, the stalk's just tipping out of the water. You see that? Yep. I can see it on this screen, so you can if you're on a computer. Or an iPad or something. Um, but, yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, they're all topping in there. I don't know why, but... He said last night that they were going absolutely mental over there. So, uh, yeah, we've got two nights ahead of us, and they're already in front of us, so that's good stuff. Um, I'm going to get some baits out with the throwing stick. Um, I'll just show you boilers I use. They're a dark boiler, as you can see. Uh, 20 mil ones, and they've been soaked for ages. As you can see, they're pretty dry, but they've been soaked. Nice hard bait. Nice and tough. Took some real effort getting into it. But yeah, they're the baits we're using. So yeah. Just flip you back around. Yeah, every, everything's looking good. Um, I hardly got any sleep last night, so um, 
think it's time for me to have a nap, uh, to be honest. But um, oh yeah, another thing, I forgot my receiver. You know when you you're packing up from a session, you have your receiver on you and your coat pocket or whatever. In my case, it was my trouser pocket, and you pack your pot away or whatever you packed away, and then you forget to put it bloody back. So you get home and then you like bloody receivers in my pocket. I did that and uh, left it at home. Pfft. Yeah, it don't matter, I just turn my alarms up. I'm not that far away. I used to fish like that anyway, before I got a receiver. A bit more relaxing to wake up to uh, an alarm screaming off five yard away from your head than bloody two yard. That, that, that's biblical, that. <laughs> But yeah, I think I'm gonna have a nap. Because I'm tired, and if there's gonna be a bloody great night shift ahead of me, then I, I wanna be alive. Right, anyway, guys. Like I said, I'm off to. Oh, bloody karma, and. Ooh. Mm, that ain't good news, is it? Bloody great stinking karma, and. Anyway. Hopefully, this session will prevail. And um, to be honest, I am pretty confident. There's fish showing out in front of us as they're not spawning, and the weather is pucker. Um, I mean, I'm not cold and it's raining, and I'm, I've, I've, I've had this off when I was setting up my pod and that, and it was still raining. It was exactly like it is now, the weather, but I'm wearing just a, a shirt. That's. <laughs> So the, the conditions are absolutely great. These are my favourite conditions, a bit of rain. I don't like it stinking hot. Like you can't even sit in your bivvy, it's that hot. That's where it, that's where it was like my previous sessions. So uh, it'll be something different. Um, so yeah. Keep you informed. Well guys, quick update. I'm just about to Get my head down for a snooze, as it were. Um, as you can hear, it's raining. It's been constantly raining now for about two hours solid. Uh, and I've had to zip the Bividar down, as you can see. Just put that perspex, whatever you want to call it, window on. Uh, because the water was collecting up there. Well, up there. And then dripping. Well, I'd better turn this one. Dripping off there and making a massive puddle right here, as you can see. Uh, so I've just zipped that down, down and watch. See, and as you saw when the camera was facing out there, when I was sat on my chair, um, the water nearly hit me in the face. So yeah, just flip that back on. So yeah, I'm gonna get um, get my head down now for a bit. See if I can get a little rest. Just last night I went to bed at about I think it was about six in the morning. And I got to sleep. Um, yeah, don't ask. <laughs> uh, I'll watch your movies online. Put it that way. Um, yeah, but the st fish still crashing out like absolute crazy. They're, they're fully jumping out of the water. And the guy who was in this swim, uh, I know him, well, know of him, um, he was the guy who caught Arnie at 44 something, but yeah, he, I've, we've been speaking to him and he's been giving us a few tips, really nice bloke, um, he moved on to the hard lake as it were, and he's had one already, um, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to have the snooze, it's six, quarter to seven now, just double check that, yeah, quarter to seven now, so I'm going to get my head down, uh, try and get a nap, and then, uh, when I wake up I'm going to take a left hand rod out and put this rod on. 
I can't reach it. So I'm not even going to try, but I've got a new rig to put on um, on that rod because uh, on the helicopter rig you can't eject the lead. And there's that much weed, I just want to get rid of the lead and I'm being lazy now, I guess. Um, due to the fact it's raining. And I'm that tired, I just want to go to bed, so I'm going to have a nap. And then when I wake up, I'm going to redo all my rods. Well, I'm going to leave inch diff rig out, out and... Um, which is the right and rod, um, I'll leave the withy pull rig. I'll risk it and just leave it. Uh, I think it'll be alright. Cast went perfect. Uh, so did the left, the left hand rod couldn't have gone more perfect. There's a certain spot it has to go and it's got to go right because I'm fishing three rods on one spot so everything's got to be completely accurate. And at about 100 yards out that is a hard task let me tell you. Especially with the wind, crosswind, and biblical conditions. Well, good morning, guys. The time is seven o'clock the next morning. As you can say, no fish. Um, I didn't do a last update last night because I didn't have time due to the fact is I, I, I got a run at half seven at night, well, half seven, quarter to eight, left hand rod, hinge stiff rig, out to that gravel bar, um, I, I were able to put some bait out of seagulls, buggered off for whatever reason, anyway that screened off, got out of Bivy nicely, I was asleep. Like I said, I went for a nap. And anyway, that zeppled off. And, um... That zeppled off, and, um... Because last time I fished the left outlet, I sorted that tree out right there. And as you can see, I broke the top of the branches off. So I could pick my rod up off the rest when it, when it was going. Walk over there with the rod and net it over there. That was my plan because when I tried from here, last time I fished I lost two cat. One got me in the reeds and another one nearly did, but both hook pulls, so I thought, not having this. So left hand rod and I didn't think. And two bloody rods left, middle and right straight out to the same spot. So I wiped them lines out when I walked down there. It got me in a big ass wee bed. Basically. I'm getting done. To put it simple, and I don't like this swim at all. <sighs> so in total, I've had three cart runs from this swim and landed none of them. Okay. okay, that might have been my fault. I had an helicopter rig on. That couldn't eject the lead, but... Still, three, three out, two out of three. Just wipe the lens. So, yeah, it's not going well at the minute. Um, just had a coffee. Been up about an hour. Rain's just eased off, as you, if you've probably heard. Um, oh, I've just spoke and it started again. Um, I got a good night's kip, I can say that. Um... That's about it, really. Uh, I don't think my granddad's had out because he wouldn't have woke, woke me up if he had. So we've got another 24 hours. I really want to move to the right bars over there. Empty still. Really don't like the swim at all. And I think I don't, I don't want to fish it again, to be honest. Probably pisses me off this swim. You pardon my French. But yeah, right bars is one of my favourite swims. Easily, that's a gorgeous swim to fish. One of my favourites. Um, but I don't like this. Nah, it's naff. So yeah, that's about it. So, um, let's see what today brings. It's just going to bring more rain. 
My feet have never been so wet in all that life. I tried drying them on the stove last night. <laughs> well, I, got, I managed to dry my socks. That's about it. So anyway. I'll brief you later. First breakfast is on. Ooh. Quick update for you guys. Um, the rain has stopped. Um, the time it is quarter past eleven. Um, only a few dif a few changes. Um, I've swapped my rods about. Right, let me just get this right because I forgot. Right, I took the withy pull rig off and the bottom bait rig off I had and I've put the left hand rod and the middle rod, both on hinge stiff rigs, out to that bar. So, like there. So one's there. One's over there. As you've seen, the yardage I've been belting it. Um, so, yeah. So, I've reeled in the, what was the middle rod on the, on the withy pull rig which is my three pound test curve rod, which is now the right hand rod. And that's just, well, can you see edge of this ripple here? It's like a dip in the trees, it's about there. Not that far out, about, what, 20 yard? No, about 30, 40 yard out. Not far at all compared to my other rods. It feels like a bloody lob compared to other ones. Well, it is a lob. Um, and that, as you can see, that's, that's slacker than the other two because it's a bit closer in, as you can see. See them to a tight up. But that that right hand rod's pretty slack because it's that close in. Um, I've I've spawned a bit of bait out. I found a tiny little clear patch, no bigger than a. What should I say? Um, it's really thin. Um, just trying to think. Of something. I'd say a ground sheet, but like just a brawly ground sheet. If you without the system like mine, just like that. So it's really small and it's tight. You've got to be you've got to be accurate, and that's on a solid bag rig with a plastic uh, hook bait inside. I've spawned a bit of pellet out, and also I've catapulted some 12 mil boilers out, just spread around the area. I mean, it can be in weed because if they're above the weed, like they are topping, like they were just jumping clean out at water. What I'm thinking, if the weed's coming up out of the growing off the bottom, say, or wherever it grows from, I don't know. But obviously, if I'm scattering boilers, they'll be on. In and around that area, so if they pick, if they're drifting about on the surface, they might pick a boiler up off the weed and then go back down into that like hole in the weed, as it were. I don't know why that's there, uh, because everywhere else is just weedy around it. I mean, you've got to cast that far out to get another clear area, like where the other two rods are. So I don't know if it, fish carp have been going down and feeding on it. Um, I don't know, but yeah, that's um, there. That's so that's the only changes I've made really. Um, as I say, I've took. All three, I've, 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 I've ditched the, all three on one spot idea, I don't like that. Uh, so I've just gone down back to two, like I had the first time like, when I had two runs and lost them both. About 20 minutes apart. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, yeah, I've just got some boilies out of a, the two rods, out of that bar. They went out fine, no seagulls came, not not many anyway, even if any. So that's good news. As you can see, lovely weather, stopped raining, looks pucker for a bite. So uh, I'm going to persist. I just had uh, a bacon sandwich and that was absolutely spot on. So I think now I'm going to drink that monster, wake up a bit, have another coffee and uh, see what's kicking. Anyway... See you a bit later on. Well guys, quick update. I have just seen a carp top just about out here. Whoa. Just over there. Um, 
can fully out of water a very big common. 20 plus I'm guessing, or mid 20, something like that. But a big common, came out twice, one big splash and then it just came fully out, lovely and red. Um, but yeah, it started raining, it's been raining about 10 minutes. And that's the first uh, carp I've seen show in this area for a while, so at least they're up this end. Um, and there's rods near there anyway, so if it wants to feed, I'm sure it knows where them boilers are. Fingers crossed guys, fingers crossed, that looked a beast. So at least we know that they're still at this end. That's excellent news, bit of a confidence booster. Anyway, I'm off to hide back in Bivy. You can probably tell door is not zip down but down. Because as you saw, normally it tips right into my bivy, so I've just put that down and it's folded out as you can see. So water just goes down there and then away she goes. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Time, excuse me, time is quarter past one. So there's ages left yet. Another 24 hours, I'm guessing. Probably more. Anyway. Well guys, quick update. Um, no more, no fish are out, no bleeps are out. Um, the two rods are out for the night, left in middle rod. Um, I've recast the bag rod and it will fine. The one that I've got closer in. Margin rod as it were. Um, that was absolutely pristine. There were no on that apart from a tiny little strand of weed on hook, which that wouldn't have mattered at all. Um, there's a fish topping, well, showing itself. Showing itself around this area, um, in front of Royal Box, just around here. I don't know what it's doing, but it's the exact same fish. It's a common. And I've seen it over here because it's got a reddish belly. And I think it's the same fish. Well, I think not. Well, it is the same fish. So it slowly worked its way from showing itself here to here. It's completely missed showing out here. I don't know. Hmm, that might be because the lines are going out. I don't know. But it's uh, not showing in front of me. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, let's get back in here. See from the carnage last night, all weed and crap. Jesus, they wouldn't know about that. Oh, it's toasty in here now. Kettle's on. Um, let's just get this card. Continue gabbing on in a minute. Well, that was good. I not even got coffee ready yet. warm coffee that'll go down nicely when I'm nice and cold yeah I say nicely but but yeah like I say no no reports to really tell you probably steamed up now because of all bloody steam but no you aren't sorry neither is my granddad so um, he ain't even had a bleep but at least I've had a run So yeah, it's six o'clock now, so um, it's coming to the time where I caught that fish last time, well last night, so I don't know what's kicking, but at least there's fish in front of us, nice strong coffee, keep me alive. Slowly drying my vans off. The shoes I've got on are absolutely wet through. So are my socks. 
mean, I've been drying them now and again on the stove. Same with my shoes, but... Yeah, I'll just get them up now. Oh. Yeah, you've steamed up finally. Give you a quick wipe down. There you go. So anyway, um, a little bit... Oh, wanna, um, this will probably be the last report of the night unless I get a fish because the battery's running low. I've only got two little bars out of four. So, I might give you an update later. I don't know. Yeah, I'll give you a late night update at about nine o'clock, I think. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, fingers crossed, any time now we'll get a bite because it's lovely and overcast. Rain's ceased and it's lovely and dark. This is what it was like yesterday. So, um... Anyway, I'm going to have this beautiful coffee I've just made and um, warm myself up a bit. Cause, um, yeah, it looks like the fishing actions cease to exist as well. Damn. Well, guys, this is going to be the last update of the night. As you can hear, it's raining again. And it's coming to the night shift. The time is quarter past nine. Um, it should be getting dark soon. Well, it should be da getting dark now. Here or white. You can then sin up due to the fact that they are shut and it's very steamy in here. I don't know why. But, um, yeah, I've just changed to uh, Gandhi's flip flops, as it were. Right, you can probably just see them there with that light on, I don't know. Can you see Gandhi's flip flop or what? Nope, yep, there you go. Gandhi's flip flop for you. If you can just about see that, it's a croc. Oh yeah, coming into new fashion, um, new from Nike. If you're doing rugby and them, they're fine, I mean, um, yeah. I mean, there's not a lot of holes in, so it's like, we got a lot of holes in so you can run faster. And um, so, yeah. Is that it? Anyway, back on the fishing side of things. No bites. Uh, I've respawned another one of my reels. Due to the fact... Oh. Catastrophe struck. I don't even want to go through it again. Ah, oh, calm, right? It's just biting me up arse every time it... Bloody clock turns 8 o'clock. Um, there were a carp, that carp that I were on about that was showing just over there, round there, you can't really see now because the door is shut obviously. But that fish that I told you about that was showing, carried on showing up to this point where I've just come into the bivvy, dried my feet because I've been wet all day. As you can hear, it's been raining for the last 48 hours. So, oh, Christ. What a dismal, bleak session. Oh, well. I'm going to get an early night tonight, so um, hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't get one in the night. <laughs> yep, that's right, I cannot be bothered to run out and get wet again. I just want a good night's kit, and hopefully, we do get one. It'll be in the middle of the morning. Well, not the middle of that, three o'clock in the morning, I don't want to get up at that time, right? but, ah, whatever, whatever time it comes, as long as I catch it. I can see me now, karma being such a proverbial, but I'm going to get a run when it's like this, and I'm off to run out, fight it right to edge, get absolutely piss wet through, sorry, and then lose the fish, and that's going to drive me bonkers. So, um, yeah, I'm going to stop gabbing on anyway, um, See you in the morning, guys. Good night, and wish me luck. Go. Right, this is what they call a last gas whacker. Well, it's not really a whacker. 18 pound four, taken at quarter past ten, up to quarter past, landed at quarter past eleven through being weeded up. Took a white pop up, but an inch different. Excellent fish, let's now get him. Now he's going back, and I'm going out. <laughs> oh, what a gorgeous fish. 
There you go, guys. Lovely fish that my grandma has just caught. See, he, he hooks one and catches it. It took me bloody three fish, three lost, three lost fish, till I dropped one. Oh, it might have been two dropped fish till I got one, but still, I've dropped four and caught one. <sighs> There's still fish showing in front of me. One just surfaced about here. Well, but I don't like 60 yard out, isn't it? Um, but not a bleep all night. It rained constantly all night. Um, but yeah, I don't know what we're going to do now because the weather is poker. And as you can see, the feeding. So um, yeah, we don't know what to do. That one absolutely gorgeous, common. Um, yeah. Well done, Grandad.